What's up, peoples? It's a terraformer playing ASPE Mario, and I didn't record yesterday. Um, kind of got a little saltier than I should have at the level earlier. It's, it's not that bad, but certain type gimmicks will take me longer than others to get used to. So, um, there's that. And also, we have another auto-scroller, so I might get a little peeved depending on how it goes. Um, it, this level's called, let, let me look at my translation, um, Express? Yeah, that's what it's called. I was just halfway paying attention there, and then, like, it did worse. With the chainsaw, I mean. After that, I was paying attention, and then it just didn't go well for other reasons. But this actually does seem like a World 1 level. And that, like, I shouldn't really get weirded like that if a, if a level is not a World 1 difficult in, in World 1. Because, I mean, if I was playing Banzai Mario, for instance, that self-proclaims itself as a Kaizo, I wouldn't be like, oh my god, this is so hard for World 1. I'd be like, well, you know, <laughs> this is a, a freaking Kaizo. But, I, you know, I've always been like that. I've always had a bit of uh, pevity. Is, that's not a word. I will say that is most likely not a word. It, it's like peeved, but the ivity of peeved. Let's not throw that shell against the wall this time. Let's just get rid of that for now. Um, yeah, not really for now if I'm just gonna lose it forever, and also that happened. Um, let's just... Oh, I was gonna walk underneath the Koopa, but that happened. Yes, I can. Okay, good. And then I'm safe from there. But I need to go quick so I don't get stuck to it. I should probably get rid of this at some point because I'm gonna need to spin jump and it's gonna affect me. Also, I hope I'm not, like, stuck here missing out on things. Oh my god. Yeah, this level is quite the, the level design of the ages as well. Um... Yeah, 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 okay, alright, we're, we're in business, there might have been two power-ups and I missed out on one, but at least I have one. Um, okay, I see, uh, shoot, whoa, <laughs> I did not lose a single power-up there, excellent, but I don't have a shell to get this, and Crazy Mans is chasing after me, but I don't think he's gonna make it, up. Uh, freaking, oh my god, there, there was a lot of things that happened there that was unexpected. Like, I don't care, I don't care, just let me get that. <laughs> Alright, this isn't, uh, oh crap. I thought I was I was gonna speak too soon there. <laughs> Guys, let, let's just uh, stop the conversation there. Well, at least to get the, the coins wasn't so bad. But now we got a, we got a, a Koopa Kamek. Not Kamek, he's just, just a normal magic Koopa. Not the special kind that has a name. Get rid of you, jeez. You are the annoying one. Let's get out of here, please. Realize whenever I say you're the one of something like that, where I said annoying one and ended it, the sentence like that, I realize that's kind of a yapalism. It, it, it's... <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just steal from people, like, my entire shtick was stolen by Raukow, sort of, not really, but a little bit, and, you know, oh god, we're playing Hyper 6. So this is the Upside Down Castle. It was made by Haimari, who didn't make a level, but his spirit lived on with this level. I wonder if he's still, you know, making content anymore. I was surprised. Sometimes, you know, you get surprised by an enemy, and you just jump right into it. It happens to the best of us, I do think. I don't, like, maybe the, maybe the thing, the explanation point means there's a secret. Like, I could swim in there. Maybe I'll get the boot, like, that one hack by Rheingar. 
which is not his name, it's just the ism that I say. I, I had Yopples make me a, um, oh, that is straight out of Hyper 6. That one long stage, Bowser in the Dark Abyss. I had Yopples tell me, like, the exact wording of it one time and record it to me, but I, I don't remember that. Like, that was a while ago. Wow. That worked. <laughs> so far not seeing, um... Okay, so I think I know what's happening here, and they're really easy to spawn to, which is bad when you when they're necessary for level design progress. Um, yeah, well, there's a pipe going there, and then like, let's oh crap! I wanted to do a P switch hop because oh oh okay oh oh if that's necessary to progress, well please let me know. Um, yeah, I assume that if I went to the right. It would lead me out, like, I, I would, I wouldn't do it like that. I would put it to the pipe to leading where the pipe went in the level, but that would have led me to the overworld, so good thing I didn't touch that. Oh, wow, would you look at that? It's like, it does the opposite. That's an interesting way of... Punishing a person for getting the switch. I, that, that's pretty neat. I could have got a fire flower, but oh, wow, that would have been cheating. I could have just lost my power up there too. My hastiness. This level is definitely speed runnable, but I don't know how to yet. So it's like you need to do specific jumps at specific times, which, you know, I, I know it sounds like the most hardest thing in the world, but, you know, sometimes in games you gotta jump. Sometimes you don't. Alright, so we got this pipe and we got a midpoint, and I can take that midpoint without any fear because I don't think there's dragon coins in this level, as they're not indicated by, um, okay, so. We're just doing the level in reverse now, I think, but it's upside down, so the pits that were pits become pits, become rooftop ceilings, and the other ones do not. Um, is that pipe a pipe I can enter into? Uh, maybe if I'm willing to get hurt and for absolutely nothing. I wonder if you can actually get into that pipe somehow. If you're like really quick to get the P switch, probably not. It's probably like physically undoable. But um, yeah, I that 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 would have been pretty crazy if it was like some really weird hidden secret. But I won't be. I, I like how the Thwomp is the opposite. Actually, that's something in Super Mario Brothers 3, isn't it? I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> Not at this moment in time, at least. And, of course, the blocks don't work from upside down, because... I don't know. Not really any good reason given. Um, vanilla boss? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Oh! <laughs> no. What? No. Really? Why? Oh, whatever, just get the shell. This isn't, like, the worst fight in the world. There's another power-up station. Good. Okay. And then you can just easily despawn thing. Oh, wait. So it's just upside down, so I mean, it's not really that big a deal that I just did that. I mean, I get it, I'm a dumb sometimes, most of the time, pretty much always, but <laughs> it isn't, it isn't, but then again, my button presses were not the best. You could press the button a lot better, I think. Uh, I'm no um, doctor, botanist, chemist in um, pressing buttons, but. Like, it's your per press a person's button! And Annoy them! <laughs> oh, you do, like, get pretty much powered up at the start of the fight. It's just, it's in a really weird positioning to have, um, jeez, really? Oh my god, oh my god, there's just everything involved, and you just keep spawning them into the lava. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's cool, I did that, it's just, it's gonna be a while until I'm gonna be in a position where I can actually do something. Yes. Crap. Um, cool. Okay, good. Uh, good job, idiot. Um, 
No! Uh, it's... Oh my god. <laughs> and how am I getting that power up? Uh, like that, apparently. Oh my god. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. This is probably the best use of this boss I have ever seen, though. I mean, I'm not especially a fan of the boss, but... If you're gonna use this boss, you might as well use it in a good way, like this. Like that. Nice. I thought I exploded there for a second. I just gotta sit there, I'm like, please die. Please die. And it wouldn't have been even that big of a deal. I only played the level, like, once more times that I really needed to, because memory is a thing that I don't possess, apparently. I guess we will do one more level. I, I can't leave it at leap. Yeah, that's exactly what it was when I looked over at it. It was pretty spoopy. There's text here that I cannot read. I should probably learn Japanese so I can, like, not always have to rely on people to fan translate. Um, the next level is flooded hiking. If you're gonna go hiking, you should probably not do it when it's flooded, but if it's gonna just float in the air like that, it's probably- Oh, okay. It's an interesting gimmick. I wonder if this is made by Kona as well. It does have the graphical stylings of this person, so that that could be a thing. I could be correct. Uh, it's been like once an episode, except that one episode where I was only able to do one level because it was exorbitantly unnecessary. I, 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 I pooed up. <sighs> um, yeah. Let's see. If I can get a shell, I mean, I could rearrange this a little better, but it doesn't look like it. I'll, I'll just play the level again, I suppose. Because just, like, ramming myself off a clip is just... Yeah, I'll just die there, totally on purpose. Usually people put power-ups in the right block if you're gonna have two blocks. Don't hit that switch. Hit an invisible block instead. Then here you could just do that and just speed run the entire thing. Like, why even bother pressing the other switch when you could just do that? I made a critical error. Cycle and everything, and then just do that. Just go quick. It's okay. It's okay that the water's not gonna hurt you if you just go quick and stuff. I, in fact, it's gonna just make everything a wee bit better. This level is like all pleasant and whatnot, and there was levels before it. I guess they couldn't just. It, it, it's kind of like jump. You, you can't just put like a million Yapel levels in one world. You gotta make different people. You couldn't just have Kona's levels be the only one in the world. <laughs> in World 1, so... I, I'm thinking... Oh, I like that! I... Oh, oh, I like that. I screwed it up, but whatever. Like, we'll just do that, and then, okay, we're good. So you turn off the water, and then he jumps. And, and this is... There we go. Okay. It, like, it was kind of like a reverse Kaizo gate, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, you don't? That's because I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, so here you... Well, that happens. <laughs> I believe I made an, a critical mistake. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was. See, it is a Kona level, because she, he or she. I don't know why Kona sounds more female to me. Sometimes it's like kind of difficult to tell with an online user interface device. Um, but it's like, really, who cares? Um, yeah, I don't know, um, no, that, that wasn't the sentence. No, um, yeah, that's what happened in the other Kona level, where 
all the dragon coins, all the D coins, were all in the one spot, in the one half of the level. Which I can totally respect that, because it really makes things a little less frightening. But then again, the level is um, not too difficult in and of itself. Creative, but not too difficult. So you turn off the water, and then it hops up for you, and then you can go swimmy swims, and then get rid of some fish and fish. And then I... Was I supposed to do something different there? I have no idea. Um, I believe I screwed up. Good thing I had the cape. That would have, that, uh, that holding the note would have been better had I um, used it while falling. So here it's like, here it's like if you have a cape, man, like don't even worry about it. Like really, that'd be really tough without a cape. I should do this level without a cape sometime, but, like, not right now, because that seems scary. Um, wait, what? What's the deal? Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, because with the amount of lives you get is dependent on where the water is, and you get less if you... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I didn't really play nicely with it, but whatevs. It's all good for me. It's not like I'm keeping my lives after this level, unfortunately. It's kind of the um, the tragic thing. And even if I did have a have a game saver, why did I even get that? Even if I did have a game saver, I don't think it works after you turn it off because the technology isn't there yet for Super Nintendo, which is really unfortunate. Because I think it's there for like GameCube and stuff, but not SNES and Nintendo 64. But it is for Famicom. So yeah, that that was information necessary to say. Um, yeah, this was a terraformer. I think I'll just leave it there because I don't want to start a red level right now. We have more Final Fantasy music. Hopefully the volume levels are better. They're kind of assy. Especially, like, the last video, so... I don't know, I boosted a little bit. Sure don't look like it. Say